What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. I know it's been a while and God knows I've been busy with other shit. I'm joined by Reyes from Reyes World TV. Howdy! And Brutal Gunplay. What's up? Today, we got a little review for you. We went and saw Pet Cemetery today. What did you guys think? I loved it. <laughs> to be honest, um, I don't remember watching the original, to be honest, so I kind of saw it for its own thing. So if there's any like small details or like major details that happened in the original that did happen in this new one, don't blame me if you hear that from me. It's like, oh, well, I loved it. It's like, oh, it's not like the original. It's like, well, I didn't remember the original, so. <laughs> well, the other thing is you got to remember nothing's going to be like the original. This one was, this one definitely had a more modern feel to what the other one was. Then again, you got to remember the other one was shot in the 70s. That's true. Let's just say it's the same as the first one but with a little twist. It was a little twist. We're not going to let there be any spoilers here. Uh, Brutal, what was your opinion on it? I thought it was a great movie. Fucking freaked me out. I don't want to say the parts. <laughs> we're not going to say the parts. That's the no. one thing we're going to say. This is going to be the same format as we did with the Halloween review. Except we're not in a car this time. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as my take on it, I, I thought it was done great. It was a nice modern feel for the from the original. I haven't seen the original, but I did read uh, the original the original story from Stephen King. And I'm gonna say the one thing from every Stephen King book and movie that's based on his stories: don't move to fucking Maine. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Long story short. I like the feel to it. Again, there was a twist from the original story. You'd have to see it on for yourself, basically, just to like get the idea if you followed the story from. I don't think movie. they would be disappointed. No, no, no. I don't think there's going to be any disappointment here. Uh, did you guys have anything negative to take on it? Um, Surprisingly not. I'm usually a person who's heavy... You're a heavy critic, critic on everything. I'm a heavy critic on a lot of things, but again, because I went to this movie not thinking anything, I was just like, oh, I'm going to watch it because it's horror and I love horror, so... But after, you know, watching it, I was just like, wow, like, it was actually done pretty well. I will say this. The child actors were so on point. Like, that little girl just aced everything. The parents were very believable. Like, the mother, like, whatever stuff that she went through, like, you actually, like, you're like, wow, like, I actually believed everything with this whole movie. You know, the old guy was cool, like, you know, I thought, like, he was gonna be, like, some pedo dude. I, I think that old guy was actually from actually, the show. Actually, he was uh, fired on one. with the, um, one in the original. Mm -hmm. He played his part real good. But, I think the only negative I have to say is that the little boy felt useless. The little boy was useless. Like, I... But I then again, you gotta remember, he's a fairly young child. It's not yeah, like he I was ready it, to speak and all. For me to explain this fully, I have to spoil one thing. So if you don't want to be spoiled, just speak, fast, just go forward a few minutes. Yeah, go forward a few minutes because I'm going to say this right now. Well, not a few minutes, a few seconds. A few maybe. seconds, a few seconds. All right, so in the movie, they had the little boy go and they emphasized, they em well, emphasized. emphasized. They emphasized the factor of him seeing dead people. Well, and the thing then is, you got to remember, they all saw dead people in it. What happened? They all saw dead people. I mean, the, guy, the father kept on seeing that right, one so student. The father kind of made sense to a certain degree, mm -hmm. at least to me, because, like, you know, everything was going to revolve around him, his emotions and stuff like that. And to me, the little boy didn't really make sense. I know the mother didn't see anyone who was dead. She saw, like, flashbacks of her past, and it kind of, like, intertwines with her shit. reality. So... Scared the shit out of food. That is probably, I'm not gonna spoil it. Well, we're in spoiling right now. Well, here's the thing: we're it's not really spoiling because right you gotta remember it's a. Well, if you watch the first one, it wouldn't be a spoil because they had that. In the other thing is you gotta remember it's a horror movie. movie. People are gonna die regardless. Yeah. All right. Let's just say the scene with the sister of the mother in the movie. It's fucking creepy. Yeah, she was. When creepy. when the when the when you talk about when the sister fell through the fucking shaft. Just the way she fucking looked in the way. <laughs> yeah, that was a little. That was that was really really creepy. But again, just the the kid felt useless. Like the mother, 
she was, you know, useful. The father was useful. Obviously, the daughter was useful. Uh, useful. And then you go to the brother, and the brother's like, I'm here. Like, there wasn't, like, really much for him to do. And again, I didn't watch the original. Like well, technically, technically, over, if you really think about it. Now, spoiler warning. The little boy did have a purpose, because if the little boy didn't go after the sister in the street, the father wouldn't have gone out yeah, to but see that was, when the daughter got hit by the truck. That was the only time where, like... Which, the, that was a twist. That was the only time where... The, the spoiler is the wrong person died. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong kid died today. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't really spoiled because it was in the trailers too. You see. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. By the way, that's a reference to. That is a reference to. to uh, walk away. Yes. No, walk hard. Walk, walk hard. hard. Walk hard. <laughs> wrong kid died. <laughs> oh my god! I can't water. believe it. Oh yeah, Reyes got him a fucking gallon of yeah, water. Yeah, healthy fellas. <laughs> Gotta live that healthy life. Can't live that freaking. Uh... <laughs> but like I said, I, I felt like they could have done more with the boy's character. I don't know. That's just me personally. I felt like the boy was like very, very useless. Like I was just like, okay. You see, I don't think the boy was useless because again, like as I said, for that one scene where uh, the girl saw the cat in the street. Yeah, but that was only one scene. As I said, if the father did not see the boy go into the street, he wouldn't have seen the daughter get hit by the truck. I know, but that was just one scene. That's the problem. Sorry if you haven't seen it and it's spoiled for you. We're not telling you the ending. Because I can assure you, that truck scene was not the ending. <laughs> I'll tell you the ending. No. Oh, fuck. It just fucking <laughs> spoiled it. <laughs> I mean, the movie's also been out for two weeks, so... That's true, too. <laughs> It's not like we went to go see La Llorona and meanwhile it came, comes out oh, next that's week. That's gonna be a good one. <laughs> you <can't> dick! <laughs> Listen, I was so happy to go see just, just, that. Just to get off topic, for, like, just yeah. a, just to get off topic for just a happy. second. I was under the impression that today we were gonna see uh, The Curse of La Llorona. My mistake was not double checking the date. He's the one who told me, oh yeah, we're gonna go see La, The Curse of La Llorona. Meanwhile, he can't say fucking La Llorona to La save his La life. La, 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 la. Yeah, that. Yeah, expect that video next week. This week is but Pet Cemetery. Again, <laughs> even though the kid felt useless, going back to the non-spoilers. Now, even though I felt the boy was useless, it actually didn't take away from the film, for me at least, because there wasn't such a heavy emphasis on the, the boy to begin with. It was just a heavy emphasis on you know, everyone else, which I liked a lot. And also, another thing that I'll say that I like before I let anyone else say anything, is that I personally enjoyed that this movie wasn't so gory. Like, you know how, like, most modern films, they want it to be, like, that super actually, gory? That actually surprises me. Yeah, they're, like, they... No, little no gore. You know, especially when you're dealing with dead things, but, you know, <laughs> you think it'll be super gory, and it's really not. Like, it was, you know, it was the right touch of blood and gore to the point where it's like acceptable and it's not overbearing right but that's all i have to say for it i mean it did deserve the r rating for especially for the topic that oh, yeah. it was of course but it wasn't like the blood the blood part did not contribute to the r rating i can tell you that for a fact oh yeah nah like if it was just if, if all we they had was the blood parts mm, and not the topic that it was it probably parts, a PG. but we, yeah it's yeah, not yeah. do you have anything bad to say no I liked it. Honestly, I mean, I'm going so. back to the whole thing with Reyes mentioning the boy. I I don't fully believe that the boy was entirely useless to the story. Give me the boy and I'll let you live. <laughs> because I feel like the boy did have one premise to it, which was the one scene where the truck hit the girl. Spoiler warning. <laughs> but my body <laughs> right, the girl body. fucking dies instead of the fucking brother there you go alright <laughs> we made it clear <laughs> but otherwise the movie was very well done especially from being based off of the novel the movie did the novel justice I can tell you that right now I believe so. I didn't read it, but I think so. I read it, but the thing is, like, when I read it, I read it years ago. I didn't read it. I watched the old movies. Does anybody actually in here actually read aside from... I don't fucking read. I'm sorry. I don't like... I hate reading. I don't like a... <laughs> well, I hate <laughs> reading and I hate I learning. I'm just being honest. I, I mean, for the record, Reyes can't read picture books. I can't, I can't sit there and read a book. I don't like Stephen King books that much, to really? be honest. Yeah, I'm not really a fan. I love Stephen King. I'm not really a fan of his books, I think. I mean, the movies come... This isn't me sounding like a prude. There wasn't enough titties. 
<laughs> no, nothing like the that. The sex got disturbed. <laughs> um, pretty good. There was a lot of points in the film. Well, not a lot. All right, all right let me rephrase this. There were very small key points of the film where it had, like, cursing involved with it. But I felt it was kind of forced. I don't know if that was just me, just, like... Wait, which... Um, yeah. like, for instance, like, spoiler warning. So when the chick is about to kill the old dude... And the old dude is like nice, he's humble, he's very nice, you know, and like obviously you can tell he's kind of a badass because he has a lot of weapons involved. Not in gonna house. lie, when we first met him, I kind of thought he was kind of pedoish. Yeah, nah, so did I. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you you know, like he's about his business, like he knows what he needs to do. So when he, he before he's about to die, you know, he's like, you could fucking try. And I'm just like, oh, did he really have to, like, say that? Like, it just, I, it, it kind of felt out of character for him. For me, was, at least. It was unnecessary. <laughs> it was, that that was actually un very You know, and there's, like, a lot of times, like, for instance, like, in the very beginning of the movie, like, when the wife gets startled by the truck, and then the husband's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> like, I don't know if that was supposed to be like a foreshadowing. I just realized that one scene was foreshadowing what was going to actually happen. Yeah, I was going to say, like, it's like foreshadowing, like, oh, like, oh, we're going to have a lot of trucks come by here. Like, even though the film didn't say it, it was like, it was like. You knew something was going to go down Yeah, the it was like, son of a bitch. And, and I thought about it in the beginning. I was like, why is he, like, so angry about truck passing? You know, like it's well, the thing is, like with anywhere anybody anybody living in an area that's like extremely busy, you kind of don't want to get woken up by fucking trucks. Yeah, but your house. also you gotta realize they were in the countryside. They moved to the countryside, and they, they were living in Maine. That was the big mistake that they made. <laughs> Needless to say, if you watch any movie based off of Stephen King's stories, you don't want to move to Maine. Like I said, I don't have anything against Maine, but basically after reading any Stephen King story or watching any movies based off of Stephen King stories, Maine is not on the top ten places I would want to live. Yeah, but like I said- Or anywhere that you hear banjos. <laughs> but like I said, I felt like a lot of the cursing just felt very unnecessary. It kind of- I wouldn't say take away from the movie, but it kind of felt like, you know, like it made me realize, oh yeah, I'm watching a movie. Because a lot of the times, like, it did, I didn't feel like the movie needed any cursing. No, to really be honest, didn't. like, it, it felt like, you know, a genuine, like, yeah. you know, movie. And then next thing you know, you know, uh, the old guys, you know, his final stance, even though he got fucking crippled on his leg, you know. <sighs> yeah, I have my final stand. You know, this isn't Call of Duty. You can relax. But... <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs> that wasn't the real final stand. He didn't pull out a 9mm. But, but like I said, besides those negative things, that's the only thing that will probably take away from the film. But it's like a small percentage. So, you know, let's get into the ratings. So. Alright, so let's start with... Buddha. What would you give it? Out of, out of 10. Between. Out, of 10. out of 10. Give it an 8.5. 8.5. I actually... It was a 9 for me until <laughs> I started thinking about everything about the film. I was like, yeah, I'll knock it down a half point just because I felt like there was a lot of things that was unnecessary. But, uh, well, at least when it comes to the script writing with the cursing and stuff like that. And again, it's not because I'm a prude or anything like that, but it's like... It just, it felt, it, it, it took me out of, yeah, it, it was forced, like, it kind of took me out of the film a little bit, but overall the film is phenomenal, I definitely um, enjoyed it, and I definitely, it's one of those films I definitely would watch again. As far as what I would give it, I would, I would I mean, I can agree about seven and a half, eight out of ten. I'm, I'm leaning more toward the seven and a half, honestly, mm -hmm. and that's mainly because a lot of the points that you brought up, although I do appreciate the fact that they actually brought the guy from Third Rock from the Sun, the, the old bald guy. I don't know if you guys watched the show. I used to watch the show like years ago. No, I don't. <laughs> I'll show you a picture later. But he definitely fit that role right. As Reyes mentioned before, that one particular scene where he did curse was pretty forced. And the whole twist that they did where the wrong kid died, it, it deterred but not a major bit for me on that. That didn't deter for me at I all. I feel like they just want to change it a little bit. Yeah, so that's probably yeah, it. But then again, then again, you got to remember, it's also a more modern spin on it. Yeah, of course. But I would say, out of out of everything, no, just just to be on the safe side on it, not even to piss anybody off, I'm gonna go with seven and a half out of ten. I think that's good. I, I think it deserves a little bit more. But my final rating is seven and a half out of ten. You said eight. Eight point five. Eight point five. And eight point five. Uh, yeah. I yeah. see on the I see on the Me Simon I see on the Simon Cowell of this trio right now. <laughs> that's. 
our standpoint on Pet Cemetery. Food and drinking is gallon. Fucking thirsty, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I still ask for a regular one. If bottle. you guys say, definitely check the movie out. Hundred percent. Definitely. And just to close this off, I want to thank Reyes and Brutal for joining me up on this video again. Okay. Subscribe to Reyes World TV. Hey. Subscribe to Brutal Gunplay. BGB and make sure I'll be back. You'll be while. back eventually. We'll force him into it. We'll tie him to a computer chair and uh, have him put some I'll videos out. I'll be back. Out. Don't worry. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and favorite. And also share the video. And we'll see you guys next week. Next week. No I review. promise. I will make... Zoom in in my face when I say this, right? <laughs> I will promise you guys when this other movie comes out. Which will be next week. Next week. So I expect Not this week. Shaking. He's Next serious. Week. <laughs> so, what you gonna do? Right now? <laughs> uh, also, I just want to do one small plug because if it wasn't for this, we wouldn't be pumping out the movie reviews now. Uh, me and Reyes and Brutal's going to. We signed up for this thing uh, called the AMC A List Movie. Uh, stub. It's the AMC it's Movie Pass. That's AMC it. Movie <laughs> Pass, but they call it like the A List uh, Stub thing. Yeah. Where you get, for a monthly fee, you get to see three movies a week. Plus, you get other uh, benefits to it. Look it up. Look Just it up on it the up. amctheaters.com, I think. Yeah. I'll leave the link in the description for it to anybody that's actually interested. I honestly believe that 23 a month, well, I think it all depends on what er where you are. Mm -hmm. It's actually worth it, especially with the way movie prices are. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth it. 100%. So... In closing, subscribe to Race World TV, subscribe to BGP Games, subscribe to Grave Uncut and Grave Uncut Gaming, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh! Peace.